Hello everybody and welcome to Scrap Mechanic. Uh, today I'm going to try to, well, do a little demo. I, I think I figure out how to make a working helicopter vertical takeoff landing thing. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But uh, anyway, this is my prototype. Um, I'll explain how I've got it all set up and then we're going to hit the switch and uh, watch the fireworks. Anyway. Uh, you pull the connector tool. What I've done is there's a free uh, ball bearing. I think they're just called bearings. Uh, that's not connected to anything. The idea is uh, you want that to spin freely and not get interfered with. Um, then what I've done is I have two more bearings here and here and I've hooked them up to this controller. Now the cool thing about controllers is you can actually set what the starting angle of the bearing is supposed to be. You see here, I got them both at negative 45, and they will, they're will they stuck there. They're never going to leave. Um, that's how you can get diagonals in your build designs. So if you want to do like a motorcycle or some of that nature, and you need a diagonal, that's how you set that up. Now, basically, um, what I've done is connected some thrusters to that, and the thrusters, when I pull the switch, are going to go off. Um, now, if you're familiar with physics, see here that we kind of get this little vector. Uh, let's see if I can get the controller a sec. You get a vector, right? So basically a thrust output is going to be going down this direction. So down and over. Um, but you also will have a reaction coming from the top here, pointing up and over. So uh, one way you can do vector addition, right? You have, and I, I know I'm being kind of technical here, bear with me. But um, essentially, if you have this angle here, there's going to be two smaller forces generated by that angle. So you're going to have one going forward, which causes this whole mechanism to rotate like a helicopter blade should. But you should also have a little bit of thrust going up. Now with that, um, what I'm hoping is if this is lightweight enough, um, it'll cause this stuff to start spinning around, but also lift up off the ground. Now, there's, there's some technical, uh, <laughs> ignore the paper towel, toilet, toilet pa paper towel, this thing. A little joke I was going to do for the intro, and I botched it. Uh, maybe I'll put it in, I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, it was like, pro tip, here's how you make paper towel. Roll. Um, so, uh, I'm going to shut up and hit the button. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, well, initially, <laughs> God, let's run after it. Let's let's catch it. Say, good lord, it's still going. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, one of the jo great joys of this is like watching your adventures. Oh my God, I've I don't even know how I'm gonna catch this thing. Actually, uh, uh, <laughs> come back, no. <laughs> um, uh, it's <laughs> helicopter, everybody. Helicopter. I just have to hit the button. That's. I just. Mm. Now when I shift, eat, eat. Uh, uh, oh my god. <laughs> See, I don't want to leave it going because it's just gonna like throw slow down the frame rate horribly. That's a noisy rock. A deep deep. Almost had it. Uh, <laughs> well we do know some things, right? We know it spins. And we know it has a, definitely is just <laughs> Yo, oh, I think it I think it finally stopped. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a disaster. There we go. Whew. Yay! <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, you see what happened. <laughs> Can't stop laughing here. Um, obviously, there's some issues with... And this is actually something I wish the developers would tweak a bit. It's very unforgiving when it comes to... Now, let's put on the lift so it stops spazzing out. Um, it's, it's very unforgiving when it comes to the balance of your invention. Like, what, what happened here, right? So, 
between these thrusters and the rotary bits and, and all that, it was top heavy. Um, might have been a little bit more successful if the bomb was made of metal or more metal at least. Uh, give it some more weight. But unfortunately, there's, there's a lot of issues because it is so sensitive to how you balance your designs. Like, um, one problem that, you know, is obvious straight away is if you want to do something like this design, see how I have like one piece coming down? You can't balance that with any kind of contraption that has like an even number. Like, see how this has four? I have to put that off at a little bit of an angle. Now, I understand why they kind of did the design the way they did. Um, I do a little bit of game programming myself, uh, just, just as a hobby for fun. Um, not, not the most advanced programmer, so don't be looking uh, to me for advice. But, uh, you know, I've just been messing around with Unity, and I've done some simple tile maps. Now, this game runs on a tile map. You see how all these little squares, it'll, it'll snap to the next one and the next one, and yada, yada, yada. Um, basically, with tile maps, you can't have anything that is like half a tile. You have to have some kind of unit. So, that's all fun and dandy. And it works well. I mean, it works well for Minecraft. It works well in this. Except for one fact, and I'll pull it up and show you here. If you look at any of the controller seats, they haven't given you any option or seat. Um, let me extend this out a bit so you can get a good look at it. All of the seats are even. There's no way to have like a control seat, at least that I figured out, that can sit like be only three wide or five wide. Um, and that's an easy fix. I just need to add in like a small control seat or, or something of that nature. And keep in mind it's early access. Uh, hopefully stuff like that will come to pass. Um, actually, I, I kind of like the setup of the control seat. Um, we'll pull this button off for a sec. Let's actually try it as a vehicle. <laughs> I guarantee this is going to like be horrible because it's just completely off balance. You know, I'm going to be sitting here. The center of gravity is like here it, it's just gonna want to push me forward and i'll start rolling around it'll be crazy but it'll be fun too um that's simple enough you just hook up your controls to those and um we should be good to go actually so jump in these thrusters won't go off initially because i need a gas it <laughs> is it just me or does this guy he's like a little leprechaun you know like and it's not just you know the red hair on the uh the rosy complexion it's it's like his feet and everything too so i'm gonna call him leprechaun or the leprechaun mechanic or something for now leprechauns weird weird mythological creatures leprechauns um anyway let's gas the engine and see what happens yeah yeah and pretty much what i expected <laughs> oh god um so it's gonna obviously take quite a bit of work of put back on the lift of trying to get, uh, uh, jump up there. How do I fit a an evenly sized bit onto an odd sized bit and have it be balanced? Now the answer is you can't really. What I can do though is I could add two of these and like have little wings or whatever coming out, and then try to get it the center of gravity balanced in the middle somehow and, and you'd probably do it by like extending this outward so that's gonna take me a while to set up but I figure this would be a good introductory thing and I'll um I'll come back once I've built something that I think will be a little bit more balanced and uh you know see if we can actually get this puppy to fly now this is stage one just getting it off the ground and kind of hovering a bit um stage two we actually want forward thrust Again, that adds all kinds of like issues, but um, I can think of some ways that it'll work. It's gonna work. Oh, and by the way, like 
I love, love the noise in this game. They've done such a great job with like, I mean, you really feel, you really feel like you're a mechanic, you know, and um, it's a game design concept called Juice, and uh, the idea is it's immersive quality, like kind of fun little things that make you remember the game and make you want to come back to it. And this game is, it's, it's pure juice. It's, it's, <laughs> they really did a great job of um, just all the sounds, all the like clang, like when you get a really building stuff with it and you're pulling bits off and let them drop and make that clunk sound. And, oh, it's, it's so good. It's so good. But, um, anywho, I'm going to cut the video here and come back when I have like an actual, what I think is a p possible working prototype say that a couple times fast so um yeah i'll see you in a few Hello everybody and welcome to scrap mechanic so today i want to show you something really awesome right? put down toilet paper right uh, you got a little toilet paper put down two that's a toilet paper roll got the paper damn it <laughs> 